Our story starts in 2023 with office worker Han Jun Hee, who is trying unsuccessfully to carry on with her life after the passing of her beloved boyfriend, Ku Yan Jun, who died in a plane crash a year ago. Struggling to move on from the tragedy, one day Jun Hee is sent an old photo of two boys, one of which looks just like Yan Jun, and a girl who looks just like her. Curious about the mysterious photo and unable to put the three people in the photo out of her mind, Jun Hee manages to track down the uncle of the girl in the photo, a girl whom she comes to learn is named Kwan Minju and who was murdered in 1998. Convinced that there is something strange happening, Jun Hee starts to think that Yan Jun is sending her messages from beyond the grave. When, on her birthday and the first anniversary of Yan Jun's death, Jun Hee is mysteriously sent a tape recorder and cassette of the song Gather My Tears by So Jiwon. Listening to the song on the way home, Jun Hee is suddenly transported into the body of Kwan Minju in 1998, starting a chain of events that will forever change her destiny. When Jun Hee wakes up in 1998, she can't believe her eyes. Finding herself in Minju's body lying in a hospital bed, she is even more surprised to see a teenage boy who looks just like Yan Jun standing by her bedside, although he insists he's named Sihan. Soon Jun Hee works out that while Sihan and Yan Jun may look identical since Yan Jun would have been just 11 years old in 1998, they can't be the same person. But still, she can't help but notice all the similarities between Sihan and her Yan Jun from the way they talk to their likes and preferences. On the other hand, very much unlike Jun Hee herself. The girl whose body she transported into, Kwan Minju, was a timid and shy high school student who suffered from loneliness and mistreatment from her family. Before the switch, Minju had just confessed her love for Si Han, who had rejected her. Meanwhile, Si Han's best friend, In Gyu, who had a secret crush on Minju, was heartbrokenly trying his best to maintain his friendship with both Si Han and Minju. Right before Jun Hee took over Minju's body, Minju had just been assaulted by a mysterious figure who had hit her with a blunt object and left her collapsed, which was why she was in the hospital. Unable to explain his attraction to the new Minju and unable to stop thinking about her, Si Han has no choice but to believe Minju when she says she is a time traveler named Han Jun Hee who has come from the year 2023. Together, Si Han, Jun Hee, in Minju's body, and In Gyu work to prevent Minju's future murder, suspecting the culprit is someone from their school. While Si Han believes Minju's story about being Jun Hee from 2023, everyone else believes that her personality has changed because of her head injury, thanks to Jun Hee's outgoing and likable personality. Kwan Minju starts to become popular at school befriending her classmates and becoming closer to her younger brother. Behind the scenes, however, Jun Hee is spinning, trying to piece together what it was that flung her into the past. After a lot of theorizing, she finally puts it together. It must have been the tape recorder and the song Gather My Tears that transported her to 1998 and into Minju's body. Returning to the present after being woken up by Jun Hee's friend, Jun Hee goes back to Minju's uncle's cafe where she is blown away to meet a very much alive adult, Yan Jun. At the cafe, Yan Jun explains that he is actually Sihan. Sihan explains that, in 2002, he was in a bus accident, after which he was suddenly transported to 2007 and woke up in Yan Jun's body. According to Sihan, he had just come back to Korea in 2002, after living in the U.S. and had just gone to try and visit Ingyu, who was serving a nine-year prison sentence for murdering Minju. Did Ingyu really murder Minju? While listening to Gather My Tears on the tape recorder, the bus crashes and Sihan wakes up as Ku Yan Jun. Yan Jun, it turns out, had just been in a car accident while going on a drive with his crush, Teha, a handsome boy who studies at the same cram school as him. While Teha tragically passed away in the crash, Yan Jun's body was now being inhabited by Si Han. Living in Yan Jun's body, Si Han goes to find Min Ju's uncle, who tells him that, since 2002, In Gyu has died, taking his own life shortly after coming out of prison. Devastated but determined to change their fate, Si Han knows what he needs to do. 
he needs to find Jun He in this present timeline. Remembering all the stories that Jun He told about how she met her future boyfriend, Yan Jun, Si Han is determined to build a connection with Han Jun He, who is at this time just another normal college student. Although when he meets Jun He, she is at first dating a different guy. Si Han stays by her side, and so, eventually, Jun He falls for him. Unknown to her, it has been Si Han living in Yan Jun's body all along. Together, Jun He and Si Han build a life together, buying an apartment, and Si Han finds a ring to propose to Jun He with. But just as Si Han is about to propose, Jun He announces that she suddenly needs to fly to New York for work. On his way there to surprise her, Si Han in Yan Jun's body dies in a plane crash, which returns Si Han's soul to his original 2002 body. Back in 2002, following the bus accident, Si Han was at first in a coma. Once awake, after suffering through torturous physical rehab to be able to walk again, Si Han reconnects with Ingyu, who has just been released from prison and whose grandmother has just passed. Anticipating that Ingyu will take his own life soon, Si Han tries to save Ingyu. In the end, he can't stop Ingyu from taking his own life at the same spot where Minju was found dead. Devastated at this turn of events, Sihan waits for 20 years to warn the version of himself living in Yanjun's body about the disastrous flight. Despite the warning, the other Sihan still chooses to take the flight because any other choice would change the chain of events that led him to meet Jun He in the first place. In a final effort to set things right, in 2023, Sihan reaches out to Jun He. Understanding the importance of her time travel journey, Sihan sends Jun He the tape recorder to help her return to the past as Minju, which is what triggered the entire story in the first place. As Sihan finishes his explanation, Jun He starts to understand that they must prevent Minju's murder in order to give Ingyu the chance to live. In 2023, Jun He and Sihan start investigating who killed Minju and her classmate Dayan. Hoping to find some answers, Sihan decides to visit their old school where Si Han's teacher reveals that Chan Hui, a former classmate, dropped out of school at the time of the murder and is now in a psychiatric facility. To Si Han's surprise, Chan Hui's brother is Chan Yong, his college best friend whom he met when Si Han was living in Yan Jun's body. Throughout the years, Chan Yong has been close to the couple and was one of the friends who helped Jun He after Yan Jun's plane crash. Before Si Han can tell Jun He what he has learned, Chan Yong visits Jun He, and she opens up to him, telling him about her time traveling, how Si Han is alive, and how they are looking into Minju's murder. Looking over her research, Chan Yong recognizes Minju. Turns out, Chan Yong was the true culprit all along. As a young child in 1998, Chan Yong harbored a disturbing obsession with preserving beauty and took a sinister interest in Minju, despite his older brother's efforts to guide him onto the right path. So, when Jun He has her back turned, Chen Yong listens to Gather My Tears and is transported to 1998. Now, in the body of his older brother, Chan Hui, Chan Yong brutally attacks Minju but is interrupted when Jun He in 2023 snaps him back to reality. In a fit of rage, he starts choking Jun He, but as Jun He collapses, Chan Yong hears the front door open. It's Si Han. Si Han, finding Jun He unconscious on the floor, calls an ambulance when he is suddenly attacked from behind by Chan Yong. After stabbing Si Han, Chan Yong escapes the scene with the tape recorder, leaving Jun He to find Si Han's dead body after gaining consciousness herself. Finally, understanding how everything played out, Jun He wrestles with guilt for her unintentional involvement in Minju's murder. It was her, Han Jun He, who revealed how to time travel to Chan Yong. More determined than ever to stop the death of Minju and the following deaths of Ingyu and Si Han, when the police return to Jun He, the now smashed tape recorder, she wastes no time getting the recorder repaired and rushes back to 1998. In a twist, when Jun He goes back to rescue Minju from Chan Yong this time, she finds herself trapped in Minju's subconscious. Turns out, while Jun He was living in Minju's body and enjoying all the attention and love that Minju had always wanted, 
Minju was impatiently waiting for her chance to reclaim her life. With Minju in control of her own body, Jun He is left to watch helplessly as Minju tries to mimic her mannerisms. But the more Minju tries to act like Jun He, the more her friends notice the change, and even Sihan begins to distance himself from her. From inside Minju's head, Jun He finds out that Minju had written in her diary that Sihan was Yanjun, hoping that Jun He's time travel would improve her life. Jun He also learns that Minju desperately wants to be remembered as a smart and popular student rather than the introverted girl she was. As Minju starts to realize that she can never truly become like Jun He, and after learning about her impending death on October 13th, Minju starts to wonder if being murdered would make sure she wouldn't be forgotten. So, despite Jun He's warning to avoid Chan Hui, Minju follows him into an abandoned building to be murdered. There, Chan Yong, who had taken over his brother's body, shows her the lethal injection, and Minju accepts her fate. But just as Chan Yong is about to carry out the murder, the 2023 police wake him up in the present, which sends Chan Yong hurtling back to the current day. Startled, the real Chan Hui flees the scene when he sees the needle. Nevertheless, determined to end her life, Minju grabs a shard of glass. Today is going to be the day she dies. Just before she is able to end her life, Ingyu arrives and desperately tries to reason with her, but Minju is adamant and ends up leaping from the building. Holding her dead body, when Sihan arrives, Ingyu takes the blame for Minju's death, turning it into a murder case just like Minju wanted. Realizing how much Minju had to suffer, Jun He isn't ready to accept this ending, and begs Sihan and the Fates to give her another chance to change their story. Just as she is about to give up because of the broken tape recorder, suddenly she is thrust back into the past to the moment just as Minju is falling. By grabbing Ingyu's hand, Jun He saves Minju. In her last moments as Minju, Jun He says her final goodbyes to everyone she has met while in Minju's body, and she hands the tape recorder to Ingyu, asking him to get rid of it completely. Even though destroying the recorder means she would have never met Sihan, Jun He has come to understand that maybe time travel has caused more problems than solutions. During her final day in the past, Jun He decides to spend her last moments with Sihan at the beach. When the recorder is destroyed, all the memories they had created disappear. With the tape recorder destroyed, Chan Yong never had the chance to commit the crimes he had done using time travel, and Minju's life returns to normal as she learns to be kinder to herself and realizes that Ingyu has been there for her through thick and thin. As the years go on, Sihan starts a web comic company, and one day, on his ride home, he sees Jun He, now a stranger to him while Gather My Tears by So Ji Wan plays on the bus. When Jun He gets off the bus, Sihan is drawn to her, feeling an unexplainable connection that he can't ignore and hurriedly follows after her. Standing facing each other in the middle of the road, even though they can't remember their past, destiny has brought them back together.